Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The SMA Association is proud to present to you this evening the St Margaret's Old Boys FC Awards and Launch Night 2013. I'm Steve Hoversall, and on behalf of Radio City, I'd like to congratulate all members of the football club and association for your achievements in such a short space of time. To have secured two consecutive third-place finishes in a league with a very high standard of clubs, a cup semi-final appearance and also achieving FA Charter standard status, I think everyone involved can be very, very proud. It's been another great season for St Margaret's Old Boys that started brightly with a 2-1 win over Obiter on the opening day thanks to a goal from skipper Jamie Hilton and a last-minute winner from Chris McGrail. This was followed up by an emphatic 10-0 victory in the County FA Intermediate Cup on the club's first away day to face Ormska Cavaliers. Chris McGrail once again the pick of the bunch, bagging four goals with Phil Hunt and Liam Dodd also collecting two each. The next big game for the old boys was another away day, this time a coach trip to Southport for a fixture against Scaresbrick Park. Another hat-trick, this time from John Towner, helped secure a 6-1 victory over another open-age side, a great achievement for an under-21 team. And it was then Dynamo PF who were on the end of a thumping next at the turn of the year as St Margaret's ran out comfortable 6-1 winners in the League Cup quarter-final John Harvey, James Bradley and John Towner grabbing goals that were assisted by a hat-trick from Luke Helsby. The end of January saw the signing of four fresh faces, Johnny Hansen, Andrew Harper, Tom Harrington and Matthew Robinson, all recruited and the impact these lads had on the side was absolutely fantastic. Settling straight in, each player came in and made their favoured position on the pitch their own. Andrew Harper and Johnny Hansen were a left-hand side to be feared with some brilliant link-up play throughout their appearances. Tom Harrington went into the centre of midfield and did well. His work rate and tenacity aided by his ability to find a pass. Harrington also scored a spectacular goal against Dynamo towards the end of the season. Matthew Robinson, meanwhile, came into the side and had to endure the graveyard shift of a lone striker role in the opening few games. But his work rate was outstanding and eventually he earned his place as a deep-lying midfielder who supported the strikers. A massive well done to all four new signings. The season ended on a high with three consecutive victories that included back-to-back 5-1 demolitions of Dynamo and included Matthew Robinson's first goal for the club, as well as a hat-trick from the ever-improving Daniel Carney. But the performance of the season was saved for the very last game. With AFC Liverpool already crowned league and cup winners, they had an unbeaten record to keep intact. St Margaret's were not going to lie down, though. With a depleted squad through injuries and illness, the 11 men that started were the 11 men who finished. They welcome back Matthew Devine and Matthew Forster, who put in sterling displays, having not played for a number of months. And thanks to a John Harvey free kick and a Jamie Hilton penalty, SMA secured a momentous league victory over AFC Liverpool. It ended their unbeaten record on the final day of the season. It was a great achievement, but the performance itself was the thing to be proud of as the entire team on the day shared the Man of the Match award. So, St Margaret's Old Boys completed the club's second season in third place. Well done to everyone at the club, including the management team of Derek McLean, Paul O'Hara, Reg Towner and Stephen Thomas. A special mention also has to go to Adam Smith, Paul Whittle, Danny McChrystal and Phil Hunt, who depart the club at the end of the season, having been terrific servants to St Margaret's over the past two years. The very best of luck to you all. So finally, on behalf of the Radio City Sport team and myself, Steve Hothersall, I hope you have a brilliant night and the best of luck for next season.